If it's necessary to send session data back to the Pro Tools workstation, you can also use the AAF format out of Nuendo to save a project and then be able to import that into Pro Tools. So in order to do this, the first thing you need to do is go to your Nuendo project here and select all the tracks that you want to export as an AAF file. Then go to the File menu and under Export, choose AAF. Now, there are some export options. First off, you can choose all the tracks that you wish to export. You don't have to export everything, but if you need to, that's fine. Then, also, if you want to, you can choose just a certain portion of the timeline to export between the left and the right locators. If you don't need to export the entire timeline, you might just need to export a section of it. You can do that there by defining it with the left and right locators. Um, in our case, I'm only going to export file references, which means that we don't have to copy all of the audio files that are needed for the project because I'm going to copy the entire directory of the Nuendo project over to the Pro Tools workstation. That way all the files are there and they're all the original audio files that were used in this project. So if I were to be copying files, the audio files, I could set the media destination path here and have a directory where all those audio files would be saved. But since I'm not checking the copy media box or the consolidate events box, I am merely going to export media file references. Now it's also possible to export an AAF as one singular file and this is helpful if you need to uh, FTP the entire file to somebody at a remote location. But for our purposes here we're just going between two different workstations. I'm just going to export the file references. Also if we needed to change the sample rate or the bit depth we could do so uh, using these options here. We could change the bit depth. And then uh, if you need to for Media Composer compatibility, you could quantize all of the event boundaries, all of the edits to exact frame boundaries. Um, but between Pro Tools and Nuendo, it's not necessary to do that. So once you've selected your options, click OK. And now I'm just going to save the AAF file right here in the same directory with the other project files. We got to give it a name. And it really only takes a few seconds. Now, granted, on a much larger project, it might take a, a few more seconds to export all those references and generate the AAF file. But now, you can take the entire directory, copy that over to the Pro Tools workstation, and import the AAF file into Pro Tools and have all these same tracks with the same edits uh, available in the Pro Tools workstation.